Welcome to Small Arm Solutions. As many of you have requested over the last year, year and a half or so, uh, that you wanted me to do some reviews on Daniel Defense Rifles, um, I had been trying for quite some time, but unfortunately there was a uncooperative gentleman who I was dealing with. However, at SHOT Show this year, I met a delightful young lady who said that she'd be happy to get me uh, some product right after SHOT Show, and which is exactly what she did. She also said something that was sort of disturbing to me, too. She goes, um, we don't gift rifles. And I said, well, what do, you, what do you mean you don't gift rifles? Well, a lot of authors now, uh, or a lot of content makers now, I guess, are uh, telling people that they want rifles in order for them to do reviews, uh, sort of as a, as a payment or whatever. And all I can tell you is that this channel does not do that. We don't expect any gifted rifles or anything for what we do. Uh, we request gear and send it back, unless it's something that I decide I want to buy. But I was surprised to hear that there's some kind of a trend now where people are expecting these manufacturers to give them rifles. But uh, I definitely wanted to address that that's not done here. But anyways, um, Daniel Defense is very well known in this industry. Uh, they're very well known for quality. Now, believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever had my hands on a Daniel Defense. Um, I believe I had seen one of them in one of my armor schools that I taught, one of the police departments had, but I never really had a chance to really go over one from you know from end to end. So uh, I was really looking forward to getting this rifle in. I've had this rifle for about, oh, I'd say a month, month and a half now. Uh, I put quite a few rounds through it, and I definitely have to say that the rifle lives up to its reputation. Extremely well made uh, from every part, from butt to muzzle. Every part is extremely well made. Fit and finish is, is incredible. The particular model that they sent us was the Mark 12. Now, many of you know Mark 12 SPR. As you can see, this looks absolutely nothing like uh, the traditional Mark 12 SPR. There's a sort of a Daniel Defense take on the SPR. You know, they adhere to the you know 18 inch barrel with the rifle length gas system. That's really about. The only place where it really has anything in common with it. Uh, in concept, uh, it definitely is the same as the Mark 12. It's meant as a mid, so that's a mid-range designed marksmanship rifle or sniper rifle. Um, it, it definitely adheres to that. You know, you do you do have an 18-inch barrel. You know, weighs around seven, seven point four pounds in that area there. You know, full length uh, with it fully extended like this, you're looking at about 37 and 7 8 inches. When it's closed, you're looking at about uh, 34 and three quarters uh, inches. You know, so it's, it definitely adheres to the concept of the Mark 12. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into this thing. We're going to go from back to front. And there's a lot of very specialized things that are on this rifle. There's a lot of stuff here that's made right by Daniel Defense, uh, which also makes it stand out. Now, the optic I have on here is a Bravo 4 SIG scope. Um, I did a lot of shooting with this particular optic. However, my accuracy shots were done with the U.S. optic, uh, longer range optic. But uh, for a rifle like this, you know, the 420 does really, really good. Um, for more of a DMR type, you probably would want to go to at least a 6 to 8 power. But uh, for, you know, for 100 yards and 200 yards, this, this optic did quite well. So we're going to start at the rear here. Uh, this stock is particular to Daniel Defense. It's manufactured by Daniel Defense. Um, it's more of a horseshoe type one. Uh, very easy to use back and forth. It does go on a 6 position uh, receiver extension. Uh, you have an H buffer in there too, which for a rifle with a barrel that's as heavy as this one is, uh, H with H or an H2 would be very good. But again, with you're not firing fully automatic, you'd be fine just with the uh, with the H that's in there. Now, the receiver extension cap here has a QD attachment point on it, which is a sort of a big deal. So you can put your your QD point right into there. Now this pistol grip is also something that's Daniel Defense. Now many of these parts that you'll see this listed in the notes, uh, where you can buy these things right, you know, right from Brownells, you know, for instance, the uh, the stock, the pistol grip, and there's a few other things as well that you'll you'll see that are available there. You do have an ambidextrous uh, safety, like any other AR type rifle. You do have a 70-75 T6 aircraft aluminum lower receiver, magazine catch. Uh, it's, you know, everything's the same. The only thing that's ambidextrous is just the uh, the safety on it. Now the trigger on here is very nice. It's a it's a it's a Geisley, It's an SSA dash two trigger, two stage trigger, which on any kind of a marksmanship rifle or a precision type rifle, this is the kind of trigger that you want. You do want a two position, especially ones that break you know clean like Geisley. You know Geisley, you know, I have to say uh, my my favorite uh, triggers are the Geisley and they're also the Hipper fires. Hipper fires is a single stage and the Geisley the two stage. And, you know. Uh, there's people who have their own opinions on this. Just my personal opinion is, is on, a, on, a, on a battle rifle or a or an assault type rifle or a combat rifle. I like uh, single stage. Uh, I, I get them off a lot faster. I feel like I have better trigger control. However, on a precision type rifle, I don't think you can beat a good two stage trigger. And Geisley is, is is top of the is really top tier for as far as that's concerned. 
Now, this is, you'll notice, is green. Uh, they do offer them in some different colors. Uh, black. I actually requested a black, but they didn't have one, and I didn't want to wait for uh, anything else. I, was, I wanted to get one of these as soon as possible, so I was no problem with the green. Upper receiver, again, we have a 775T6 aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, we have a uh, charging handle, a Veltor charging handle. I think it's the, the version 4. Um, it does have one handle, extended handle latch on the side here, so you can grab it and pull back like, like so and get a good grasp on it. You do have a polymer uh, dust cover as well. I tend to like these. Um, you know, they don't they don't bend. Um, they're a little more less impervious to heat and everything. I tend to really like the uh, the polymer covers. A lot of my builds I do now, I do put the polymer covers on there as well. Now going forward, we have a Daniel Defense M4 uh, rail rail system. Uh, this particular rail system uh, has four QD points. Uh, it does have a quad mill standard 1913 rail, which those of you who know me, I am quite fond of. It is manufactured from 6061 T6 aircraft weight aluminum. Very, very well ventilated. It is free floating. Uh, this is an excellent rail that's very popular on many, many rifles. Um, this is used on their Mark 18 variant as well. Uh, they come in different lengths. This particular one, I believe, is a 12 inch. Um, and also, all of the rails are numbered. You know, some companies are you know, skipping out here and they're not uh, labeling. Uh, the, the top numbers, those numbers are labeled uh, on the right, left, and top side. So when you remove, say you remove this optic, when you put the optic back on, you're going to the exact same location. So you don't have, uh, you have a good reference point, so you don't have to re-zero. So that's sort of a big deal as well. Now the bolt carrier group is also Daniel Defense. You have a magnetic particle and proof tested bolt, which means it was test fired with a 70,000 PSI proof cartridge, and then magnetic particle inspected. You will have chrome plating on the inside of the bolt carrier, as well as inside of the carrier key as per mil spec. Uh, so you have a very good high quality bolt carrier group. Now the barrel is very interesting. That's uh, probably sort of the, the heart to all this thing. You have a stainless steel blend. It's a, it's a custom blend from Daniel Defense. Now Daniel Defense is one of the companies in the country who has their own hammer forge machine. So they're very well known for making hammer forged barrels. So what we have here is an 18 inch uh, hammer forged stainless steel barrel custom blend. You do have a 1 and 7 inch twist. You have a DLC finish uh, on the barrel on the barrel itself. You have also a Daniel Defense uh, compensator. You know, the bottom is uh, enclosed like the, the A2. This is nitride finished. The gas block is made of 401 stainless steel. Uh, it's also made by uh, the Daniel Defense. It's a very very low profile. It is held on by two set screws. You know, as you guys know, I have a tendency to uh, to prefer the you know the drill and pin myself. But uh, there are a lot of companies who still do uh, do this way. Yeah, you do have some rail protectors on here too. This is a, a Santaprene uh, polymer, which is supposedly uh, extremely well heat resistant. I've not used this material in the past. I tend to use magnet rail grips myself, which I know what those things can do. But uh, I will say during my testing, uh, I got the thing pretty hot and it didn't have any issues. Like the uh, Mark, Mark 12, you do have a rifle length gas system. So, you know, overall, if you have everything on here, it is extremely well made. The other thing this rifle came with was a Daniel Defense magazine. Daniel Defense came out with these a couple years ago. And I've been testing these magazines since they came out. I'm trying to remember how far back that was. But I remember once I saw them, uh, I had Daniel Defense send me a couple of these. So I've been using them right along in my regular testing. Uh, 32 rounds, polymer, really good feel to them. And I've never had one fail on me. Uh, these have always worked 100%. So they're definitely one of your top, or, you know, your top magazines for as far as quality is concerned. Daniel Defense wouldn't put anything out that wasn't. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to head out to the range and we're going to fire a few shots and we're going to see how it shoots. How accurate was it? Well, that's what, that was really what was good about this thing. The accuracy was just what you would expect. This is a sub-MOA gun. 
Now the ammunition that was used with this was uh, two of the main ones I'm using right now. Um, again, with this being a Mark 12, the Mark 12 was designed around the 77 grain OTM. So I had the Black Hills Mark 262 ammunition, which was the exact round uh, and manufactured ammunition that this rifle, the rifle was designed around. And also some of the SIG 77 grain OTM. And I have to say, of the five groups that I shot, um, two of them were not MOA. Everything else was MOA or under. Uh, the Black Hills, I had a, a .610. Uh, I had a 1-inch with the Black Hills, and then I had another 1-inch with the Black Hills. With the SIG, I had a 1.1 and a 6.5-inch group. So it is definitely a, a, a one MOA gun, and you know, I'm not the greatest shot in the world, uh, but uh, with the U.S. optics scope and that, it was good. Now for quality, you do pay for it. Uh, these are not going to be cheap rifles. This retails for around $2,099. Uh, but again, if you look at what you're getting uh, and the quality, I do plan on getting some more Daniel Defense rifles in here. I'm interested to try one of their 308s. But uh, now that I definitely have somebody who I can work with there who is uh, very supportive, um, I do intend on getting some more of these rifles out. Now just a quick word on the optic as well. I've been using a lot of the SIG optics uh, for the last year or two. Uh, and I have to say they're very, very well made. People say this one's ugly as sin. Well, you know, practicality and beauty are, are, are two different things. Uh, it works very well. You have a very clear uh, reticle in it. You have a horseshoe type reticle that's illuminated. Uh, 4x20 is about what you would want for a combat rifle. The reason why is because when you go to shoulder the rifle, you don't want to have to try to move your head to try to get a focus um, onto, the, onto the back of the scope. You want to be able to pull it right up and be right there. And four powers as high as you want to go without that you know, being able to not have a, a quick sight picture. And also, for practical range, a 420 will get you out to 200 yards very easily on, on a human sight type target. You do have some uh, ticks in there, so you can go up to probably two or 300 yards easily. But it's really a good, it's really, it is a good scope. It does not, this uh, rifle does not come with backup sights. That's something that you would buy separately. Again, somebody who's going to buy one of these, they probably won't put backup sights on it. It's not necessary on it, but if you want, you know, you can use anything you want. You know, the Mbus Pros or the Arms sights are really, really good. you got several of the Troy, uh, which are really good options. Now, I also want to iterate to you guys. I've had some people leave me some comments that state that, well, how do you tell, you know, how a gun shoots, you know, for three or four magazines? What you see on these videos is nowhere near the amount that I shoot through them. A rifle has not come out here that I don't put at least 500 rounds through. And some of them are more so. A rifle like this, not as much because I'm using, you know, much more expensive, um, you know, open tip match. Uh, for a regular rifle, I use a lot of, you know, regular full metal jacket and I'll put more rounds through it. But, uh, you know, what you're seeing there is only a small portion of what the, what the shooting actually is. But very, very happy with it. You know, it's sub MOA. You know, you're going to pay for a good quality rifle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like, please subscribe, and even better, share. Thank you.